What the hell is TypeScript? Let's talk about it. <laughs> so we're here in Portland, Oregon. our first biggest JavaScript tour in 2021. It's taking place on August 6th through 8th. So if you want to show up, it's happening in Los Angeles. And it's gonna be the best event you probably have been so far. So shameless plug, get the tickets now. With that said, what are we gonna be doing today now? So we came and we thought, you know what? Why not do something fun? Like learning TypeScript in one day. Exactly. Now, I don't know, we might succeed or we might horribly fail. Hopefully we'll fail. We'll find out. <laughs> Let's go. Hey. Oh, and by the way, before we continue this video, if you want to become a developer and you want to make over a six figure income and you love puppies, then smash and break that like button right now. And here's a picture of a koala bear just to thank you. TypeScript is a superset of JavaScript, which means you get to write JavaScript, but with static typing. In other words, JavaScript is a little tiny baby of TypeScript. In English, TypeScript keeps JavaScript in check so it behaves like a good little girl. <laughs> Like now you might be wondering why should I switch to TypeScript Cosy and effectively write more code? And that's a great question. It helped Airbnb reduce their bugs in their code base by about 38% by switching from JavaScript to TypeScript when they did their post-mortem analysis. After Slack made the switch from JavaScript to TypeScript, it boosted their productivity, the stability of their code, and according to them, even their mental sanity. According to the Stack Overflow 2020 survey, TypeScript was the number two most loved programming language. Additionally, developers who learn the skill of TypeScript make about $125,000 a year or more, depending on their experience and location. After doing so much research from everywhere, I found out what's the number one reason really anybody uses TypeScript, and it's this, fewer bugs. So basically, TypeScript can tell you're about to make a mistake before you make it. Like for example, hitting on a girl that's there with her boyfriend. No, no, don't do that. Stop, don't do that. Told you, don't. Mm. Anyways, back to the video. It can do a lot of things. For example, it can validate your JavaScript ahead of time. And TypeScript can also be used for both front end and back end applications. Another cool thing about TypeScript is you don't really need any learning curve. Let's take a look at how we actually start up our first application in TypeScript. So let's go ahead and install TypeScript using npm install g TypeScript. We'll create a new folder called TypeScript app. Let's open that folder in VS Code, create a new file called index.html and another one main.ts for our TypeScript file. Console log hello, go back to index.html. Let's link the JavaScript file, but we're linking main.js. Open an integrated terminal, do tsc main.ts to go ahead and compile our TypeScript file into main.js. Create a function who's a nice little boy, give it a parameter name with a type string and return type of void. Console log name plus is a nice little boy, yay! Next, create a variable called best person with a type string and value JavaScript. Let's call the function who's a nice little boy, open with a live server, bada bing bada boom, check it out. And that is your first TypeScript app. Another useful feature that was added to TypeScript is something called interfaces. An interface is basically you defining what object that is. So let's just say I have an object named food, right? I can define what that object will have. I can define if that object will have a color, if that object will have, for example, a taste. It's kind of like 
when you have food and you know exactly what the ingredients are for that food. I might be asking at this point, Nas and Kazi, How does it work in a browser? Do I create a new file, a different type of file? Well, check this out. It doesn't work in the browser. You actually need a compiler to compile TypeScript code into JavaScript code. You're turning the TypeScript code into the JavaScript code and that is what your browser will understand. And according to TypeScript and their tagline, TypeScript is JavaScript that scales. As you gain a stronger skill set and you are an intermediate level developer, I think it's great to start adding in TypeScript. And the reason is as you start to work on more complex projects, that's the time you actually need TypeScript. But if you're working on tiny small projects, it's just gonna get in your way and slow you down. Now, technically speaking, I'm gonna put JavaScript code and some TypeScript code side by side. Here she's showing an example. And if you take a look at this example, on the left, hand side a function written in JavaScript. On the right hand side, it looks extremely similar to the JavaScript code, except in TypeScript, you're specifically saying that name can only be a string type and you can enforce that. When you pass a array to greeter function instead of a string, you can see that before you even run your code, it tells you, hey, argument of type string is not assignable to a parameter of type string. So there you have it. That's TypeScript in a nutshell. If you are a complete beginner, should they learn it? I would say if you're a complete beginner, don't bother learning it just yet. Focus on just the foundations of JavaScript. But if you are more advanced, you can jump into it. Go ahead and smash that like button for us, for all the fun that you probably had watching it. And of course, one last thing that we have to say. There is a in-person event that we're doing. It's gonna be the first one we've ever done. It's gonna be one of the best ones happening August 6th through August 8th. It's going to be in Los Angeles. Jump in, buy the ticket, fly in. This is going to be an event of a lifetime. It's gonna be a totally life-changing experience. You're gonna pick up all kinds of crazy skills, HTML, yeah. CSS, JavaScript, build relationships of a lifetime with other like-minded, crazy, amazing people just like yourself. I mean, we'll just have so much fun in general. I mean, you've been stuck in COVID land for so long now at this point, time to get out of it. So show up <laughs> and let's show out. We love your beautiful face. We wanna see you in person. Click the link below, sign up. Other than that, this is your boy Kazi. And Nas. And we'll see you in the, in the next, next video. video.